Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today I'm going to react into Dragon Ball Super episode 109 and 110. So last episode we finally got our Frieza episode. Eh, kind of Frieza slash Frost episode. For the first half we focused on Roshi. It was more of like Frost versus Roshi. Frost wasn't defeated and technically neither was Roshi, but Roshi was all tapped out. Like the fight for Frost, like it really took it out of him. So by the end of it, he was just done. So he willingly fell off the ring. So Roshi got eliminated. The second half, we focused on Frost and Frieza versus Gohan. And at first it looked like Frieza and Frost were actually going to go through with their plan. But you know, Frieza's got to be Frieza. He has to be the sneaky bastard he is. And he actually ended up double crossing Frost and actually eliminated Frost himself. And uh, yeah, Frost was not having it. He was pissed off. And and he was actually going to take a cheap shot at Frieza from the sidelines, but before he was able to do that, the Grand Zeno said nope, and he was erased. That actually surprised me a lot. So yeah, okay, no no taking cheap shots from the sidelines. And we left off, unfortunately, with Goku face to face with the Teletubby Ribrian lady, whatever you want to call her. I think that's actually her name, Ribrian or something? I don't know, and I don't really care. So this episode I'm dreading. I hope he eliminates her quickly because she's so annoying, and hopefully the second episode, episode 110. We just completely move on to somebody else and that's it. Hopefully this is the last we see of this girl. But let's see how she gets eliminated or even if she gets eliminated in this episode. I hope she does. If you guys are enjoying my Dragon Ball Super series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Without further ado, this could be Dragon Ball Super episode 109 and 110. Let's go. Hey everyone, just want to give a special thanks and a shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Over on my Patreon, you'll gain early access to all of my uncut reactions on top of other perks. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. The mightiest enemy zeroes in on Goku. Launch the knockout spirit bomb now. Okay, they're bringing that back? Alright. Hopefully he knocks her out with that shit. I'm surprised she's able to do that. Yeah, thank you. You got some power, don't you? Of course I do. You won't fail us, my sweet. The ultimate prize will soon be yours. Oh, yes, the orbs will. My wish. Tell them, dear. Will be to become a deity. And not just any deity, but a goddess of love. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Someone eliminate the second universe, please. I'm sure it's way more noble than what you'd wish for. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. Hmm. Maybe I'll wish for something for Chi Chi or my sons. Not bad Maybe choices. I'll wish for a fighter like I've never seen before. You already did. You already did with Boo. Like, uh, what his name is? Uh, it's Oob, I think. Rosie, Kakunsa. Yes, my lord. We're on it, ma'am. We are sending our love, Great Bravery. Oh, they're still in the and thing? No, they're not. The with all our hearts. Or at least one of them is, I think. Oh god, what are they gonna turn her into? I can feel it. It's the power of your love. I'm so sorry. I'm not into this episode whatsoever because of her. It's like she's just so fucking annoying. Just eliminate her. I can't be alone on that either. Like, is it just me or it, like I'm just not into this character. I'm sensing a lot of power. I better power up too. That's it's my super Ribrian. Show them love is hope and love is power. Demonstrate to the mortals of that barbaric, heartless seventh universe that pure love is everything that matters. Here comes Love Heart Arrow. Oh, Ribrian, super holy shower. It's taking all of my strength not to just skip this. I'm so sorry. This might be a boring video for you guys. I'm sorry. Knock her out, dude. Let's see if your heart can handle this bursting shock of sweet. Ribrian, eternal love. Mm. He just stood there and took it. Why didn't he fucking move? Or did it do something to him? Oh, God. I don't think it did anything to him. Love conquers all. So does Oh, thank you. Thank you. Knock her out. 
Oh, is that Jiren? Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Am I to assume that you've fallen for me too, sir? <laughs> no. Does it look like it? Coy. A real gentleman isn't shy. He makes his feelings known. And a real woman doesn't push herself on people. Talk about a pick-me girl. Jesus Christ. Okay. Are we getting a Jiren versus Goku fight? Like a an intro fight? Their first round, I guess you could say. Jiren, can you hear me? Oh, can they communicate telepathically? Or mentally, whatever you want to call it. I want you to crush that Goku from the seventh. You can ignore the weaklings. Understood. I'll leave it to you, Jiren. Okay. He looks a lot smaller, like, physically. The way that they're animating him right now. I wonder if uh, Kale is able to um, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The entire Null Realm itself is shaking. Oh. Well, well, well. It appears that outrageous monster's finally joining the fray. Okay. I want to see Frieza go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Do what you feel is required. Do whatever fulfills your desires. Fight so that you may claim the Super Dragon Balls. I wonder what Jiren's wish would be. So you finally decided to fight me after all this time. He was probably watching you from a distance to see what you can do. But you haven't seen much of Jiren. Damn. Who would have thought that one mortal warrior could release this much energy? How amazing! I wonder what will happen next! You know what's so funny about Jiren's design is that he does not look intimidating whatsoever. I think it's the big eyes that do it. It makes him look, I guess you can say, not bubbly, but very less intimidating. It's like a puppy dog, you know, with big eyes. But then you got then you look at his body and then it's like, whoa. Goku, it's Super Saiyan Blue. I hope he doesn't think Jiren's beneath him. I assure you, he doesn't. It's conserving it's energy. The opposite, sir. Huh? Goku's probing around the edges, testing Jiren's exactly. power and his own Exactly. Because well. he hasn't seen anything from Jiren, so he doesn't want to go all out first. He wants to see what Jiren can do. Jesus. Okay, he finally moved him a little bit. <laughs> Why not start at full strength? Goku's a martial artist. And when you're at the top level, like him, before you compete all out, you want to see the scope of your opponent's power. I'm sure they both see this as a chance to test their strength and push themselves to new heights. They probably got a lot in common, no yeah. The time of the universe, martial artists are all wired the same way. Come on, Goku, you got this! Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty, now he's starting to do stuff. Just seeing what he can do, what his power is and shit. Yeah, he's blocking all of them. It kind of reminds me, the way he's blocking, it kind of reminds me of Whis. You into high gear. Maybe this will do it. Remember when uh, Whis was uh, fighting or training Goku and Vegeta and they were trying to like, you know, land a hit on Whis and it wasn't working out? That's what it reminds me of because Whis had like his hands behind his back and he was just dodging everything. And I think they said something along the lines of it's not really a power, it's just like his instinct or predictions or something like that. That's what that reminded me of. So I wonder if Jiren has a similar power to Whis but not like in that aspect, but like similar ballpark i guess you can say where jiren's just not he's not using his powers or energy or any of that stuff he's just relying on his instincts and prediction and all that stuff to deflect all of goku's like punches because you saw he was like you know blocking all of them but he wasn't trying he was just literally just blocking out of instinct basically so i wonder if that's like a similar thing that he's got going on but yeah but so far this goku versus jiren fight it's not the fight like i said that's probably gonna happen in like episode 25 like 125 and maybe later or something. This is just like an introduction fight to see what like you know each people can do. We will get like a sneak peek of what Jiren can do, how Goku handles it, and what he'll learn from this fight. I'm very curious to know who exactly is gonna go toe to toe with Jiren. It's obviously gonna be Goku. I wonder if Frieza is gonna go toe to toe with him or Seventeen or even Vegeta. I think Vegeta will definitely go toe to toe with him. But I feel like 
Vegeta, it's gonna be literally like how they fight Hit in the other tournament thing, where it's poor Vegeta going first and then he gets defeated. And then since Goku watched that fight, he has like an idea of how to beat like, you know, Jiren or slash Hit, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna be like a similar situation between those two. Poor Vegeta, man. Like I swear, he's just Goku's guinea pig. But okay, we are moving on from the Teletubby looking bitch. Thank fuck. I am so sorry for you guys that like, you know, the beginning, I was just not into it because she was on screen. But now we got a different situation going on. So let's see how Goku handles this. Oh, what if he, what if he combines the Kaioken? Kaioken Blue. We want him as strong as possible when he loses. If he fights with everything he has and yet Jiren still pummels him easily, the remaining contestants in the ring will realize they have no chance and lose their will to compete. Huh. So you want Goku to reach full power so we can make an example of him as mental warfare. I like that. You should not huh? forget the dangers of overconfidence, my lord. I mean, Jiren's very stoic, so... It's hard to tell what he's thinking and damn, he got up in his fucking face. Damn. Okay. He's sending Jiren back, all right. Ouch. Ooh, that one was rough. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, we got a kick off of him. Ooh. All right, now Jiren's got to put some effort into it now. Wow. Damn. Yeah, that had to hurt. Goku's putting up a good fight. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Well, now you know what he can do. Is Goku gonna come back, like, right away? Oh! Almost. Where do you think you're going? What? Whoa! What was that? No way! What the heck was that? Yeah, right? Not even I could see those blast attacks coming. That's one tough bastard. Where's Jocko? <laughs> you have to have him in the stands so you can see. Goku's time in the tournament may be over. He's not done yet. With his current power, he should have enough to multiply his blue level with a Kaioken times 20. Hope you're right. Mm. Hey, Goku! It's no use. What are you talking about? He means there's no point telling Goku to use Kaioken times 20. He already tried that very technique in his last assault. Uh, are you kidding me? So now what? I feel like it's more strategy rather than uh, energy and strength. I do have a full appreciation of your strength now, and that's convinced me to use something I've been holding back. Huh. The spirit bomb thingy? Yeah. Now is Jiren going to attack him while he's powering up? I need you to lend all the energy you can spare! Let's go! Take as much of mine as you need! Yeah, same here! I think we can both spare some. That's right, it won't bother me. <laughs> it's good, they have unlimited. <laughs> I knew that move quite well. And while I yeah, you do. Memories of it, <laughs> it is a new day. Wow! Bestows upon Emperor his Frieza, energy. fuck off! I'm not gonna be your stupid crutch. Of course Vegeta's not doing that. What a bitch. I'm gonna need a lot more time to gather enough energy. Yeah, is Jiren gonna strike I him would. down? Uh, oh. Take however much time you require. If this is your special move, then I want it done right. Go ahead and do your worst. All right. <laughs> that definitely sounds like something Goku would say. Goku and Jiren are mirrors of each other. Pretty Thank you. Did she get eliminated? Thank you, Vegeta. Ridiculous. Enough theatrics, Kakarot. Let's go. Goku! You can take our energy too. Hell yeah! It's ready! <laughs> yeah. How much you want to bet it's not going to do anything to Jiren? Not a damn thing. 
It's not gonna do a damn thing. Is he gonna throw it back at Goku? Did he catch it? Oh, fuck. Seriously? <laughs> right? Impossible. He's pushing it away. Dad's not done. He can power up and push back. Can someone help him push it back? Or does it have to be Goku? Because didn't Boo do something like this too? I'm pretty sure what Kid Boo did something similar to this. Damn, he has like legs for arms. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no. Someone's gotta help Goku or Goku's gonna take it. That's it, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that definitely didn't surprise me. I had a feeling either Jiren was just gonna take that spirit bomb and he's just gonna like stand there and do nothing and it does nothing to him. But when it didn't do anything, like nothing happened, I'm like, okay, he caught it and then he's throwing it back at Goku. Can anyone help him push the spirit bomb back or something towards Jiren? Can like everyone like team up against Jiren and push it? towards him or does it have to be Goku specifically to push it? Yeah, he's not doing too well. And real quick, before I go any further, I don't know if this is a spoiler, I really don't know anything about this, but I have seen a form of Goku where he's shirtless, but he has like gray hair or something. I have no idea if that's like a power form or something because we haven't seen that yet and I don't know if we're gonna end up seeing that in the end of the series. I don't know what it is, if it's powerful or any of that stuff. I just know that Goku eventually looks like that. I have no idea. And the reason why I'm aware of this form is, again, if you guys don't know, yes, I will admit I am a Fortnite player and I have Goku skin. And one of the skins that comes with the Goku package is that form. It comes as base form, Super Saiyan Blue, and then that form. Since I've never seen that form in the series, I'm wondering if that's gonna be relevant in this or something like that. I have no idea where it comes from. So I just wanted to mention that before we move on. My guess it is some sort of like power form. I just don't know where it lies like on the power scale. Like if it's like super powerful or if it's like similar to like Goku Blue or not Goku Blue, I'm sorry, Super Saiyan Blue. Or maybe it's the combination of Kaioken with something else or whatever. I have no fucking clue. But so far Goku does not seem to be doing too well against Jiren. And I wonder if someone's gonna help him fight Jiren until they like, you know, separate at least temporarily. Because like I said, this is not the showdown, it's just like the first showdown, like an introductory. But how does Goku get out of this? Because he's in kind of a pickle right now. So let's see how he gets out of like the spirit bomb situation. Goku enkindled the awakened one's new ultra instinct. Oh, is Goku gonna have that like reflex like instinct thing that Whis has? And Jiren, I'm assuming. I don't think he can. Goku's putting everything he has into this and Jiren's not breaking a sweat. I say just get out of the way. I'm surprised Goku didn't burn through his energy yet. Oh shit. Is this thing gonna wipe out everybody? Ah, oh, there's hit. Oh fuck. You know what the- oh Jesus Christ, Frieza. <laughs> You know what the scary part is? Is that even if Goku miraculously makes it out of this with Jiren, he still has Top. Because Top is just as powerful, like almost just as powerful. His strength is beyond words. Indeed, and if I were to measure, I would have to say his power is at the level of a destroyer god. Mm. And perhaps it is even higher. I have heard a rumor that one of the universes has produced a mortal who has surpassed his own destroyer. A wild notion, but now I see that it may be true. That's right, Jiren. So did he do that on purpose? Like, is Jiren technically supposed to be the next in line of the Destroyer? Because I wonder if he did that on purpose. So I wonder if um, 
the clown purposely trained Jiren to be like this so he could be his like his, his successor in the future or some shit possibly i don't know but the his god is very well aware that Jiren is able to do this shit whoa what happened whoa what happened what happened what the fuck Did he go into the energy? It looks like he kind of went into the energy thing. And it, it looks like he's absorbing all of that energy. It's over, Jiren. Victory is yours. Mm, I don't think so. Where is he? Nobody, no crime. So. Or not nobody, no crime. Nobody, no evidence. There we go. It would seem the standoff has ended. Wow! Well, where's Goku? <laughs> I thought that was amazing, did you? Oh, yes, it ain't I over till it's over, you. man. Don't I celebrate admit, too I soon. I the ring was able to withstand that blast. You're right. You built it. However, sires. Huh? Where's Goku? <sighs> he hasn't warped to the bench. That means he's down there, right? I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. Energy anywhere in the ring. Ask Weiss. Ask Weiss. He knows everything. That would mean he's dead, right? That's perfect. Then that means Jiren will be disqualified. I don't think so, my lord. Yeah, what does Vados have to say? Goku's the one who launched the initial energy blast that swelled and ultimately destroyed him. In that case... He killed himself. But where is Goku? I feel like he absorbed that energy. Yeah, something tells me he absorbed that energy and it's gonna give him like a major power boost. And that's when we possibly will see the white-haired Goku. I don't know. Something seems fishy with that shit. What's Beerus thinking? Is it true? Is this really the end for you, Saiyan? And for us? Nah, he's gonna appear like right now or some shit. Goku! Are you finished? He's probably gonna be like, yo! Or some shit. He's somewhere in the ring. We just don't know where he is. Is there something you wish to say? He knows. Here it comes. He knows that was Goku. Alrighty. No white hair, okay. Hmm, okay. So, no white hair. Yeah, it, it didn't surprise me. Like I said, I think this is like, what, the fifth time I'm fucking saying this? I'm telling you, correct me if I'm wrong. He absorbed all of that fucking energy that was from the spirit bomb, and then he, like, I guess, like, disappeared for a second but then he's back and since he absorbed all that fucking energy his energy levels and power levels i'm assuming are like sky high now now i think because everyone is sensing it and he's fucking shaking the null realm so i think jiren has actually like met his match now but like i said still no white hair so i don't know if the white hair is even like a thing in Super. I don't even know if it's from Super actually. It might be from GT, I have no fucking clue. But okay, so it looks like Goku achieved a brand new power level, like surpassing everything that we've seen. So for now, let's see what this new power can do. Ooh, Goku's okay after all. Yes, he is okay and very sparkly. Sparkly, sure. <laughs> That animation is incredible. Something's different about him, that's for sure. Yes, I'm sensing an incredible strength from him, and yet his energy is so calm it's giving me the creeps. <laughs> Let's watch and see what happens. After all, this is the first time even I have seen Goku in this curious state. Trying to figure out what's happening, like what exactly he's doing. He's amazing. 
I've never seen my dad move like this before, not in any form. It's not just that he's a lot faster. So it's like it's the Weiss thing. It's the instinct. Transitioning to his attacks oh, this thing is called Ultra yeah. Instinct. Is that what God this is? Like that as well. What the hell is going on? Kakarot, what have you become? It's what Weiss does and what Jiren does. Yeah, it's the instinct. He already knows what they're fucking gonna do. How is Goku doing this? Hmm. Is he gonna say it? Hmm. Weiss knows. Yeah, see, that's basically what Jiren was doing before the tournament started. Remember when uh, they were fixing the ring and Jiren didn't move or some shit? That's like this. I never imagined any mortal could push Jiren Damn. this far. What the? How can this be happening? Ooh, Goku has become so much stronger now. Yes, much stronger. Yeah, what's the Grand Priest gonna say? Could it really be? That's so wonderful! I hoped for this! We s what is it? I have to admit, I wasn't sure if this he knows! Be able to achieve it. Then you know what's happened to him? Beerus knows too. It's the instinct thing that Whis was pulling on both of them, right? And Goku finally got it! Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Chopper. <laughs> Well, at this point, it would be premature for me to verify it is true. However, it is certainly a development that demands attention. But why now? And why is it Goku? Well, my lord, the Saiyan spirit bomb most likely served as the catalyst. Uh, you mean Goku absorbed the spirit bomb's energy and he's using it to fight? I doubt that. Most likely, Goku has used the spirit bomb's energy to replenish his exhausted body. Okay. But, as you said, that alone would not be sufficient to explain what we're seeing now. My theory is when the spirit bomb exploded so close to him, its tempestuous power coursed into Goku and smashed into his own energy, which he was already pushing to its max. This was the collision he needed to shatter the ceiling of his power and reach an even greater potential that has always been locked within him, but he could never fully reach. He's now in uncharted territory. All right. It remains to be seen what will happen to him as he tries to sustain this fervor. So can he, like, go back down to his base? So I was right and not right at the same time. He did absorb it, but it wasn't the... It, it, that The absorption wasn't the cause of it. It kind of, like... It was basically, like, the dynamite that he needed to uh, explode, I guess you could say, the ceiling. Oh. Damn! Whis is like a proud teacher, man. He's like, I knew it. I knew you could do it all along, and you're finally doing it. He just stopped well, it with his. Saiyan, you are a truly fascinating He just stopped teacher. it like that, didn't he? However. Fuck. Yep. Goku's gotta go higher. Jesus. Goku's gotta go higher. Oh. Oh no. Head sneak attack didn't work! A fighter is at his most vulnerable the moment he delivers a finishing blow. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Just why are you here? To do my job. What was all that? Oh no. You will tell me I'm scared now. now. <laughs> Looks like I used up all my power. That's too bad. Vegeta's jealous. Answer me. <laughs> Truth is, I'm not even sure myself. With only 25 minutes remaining until the fateful end of the tournament, can Goku grasp that power again? God damn it, Frieza. Oh my god. My, my, doesn't this feel familiar? It's like Namek all over again. 
Yeah, the planet where you died. Yeah, that one. All right, and that was Dragon Ball Super episode 109 and 110. Okay, so I will be honest. At first, it bored the fuck out of me because Ribrianne was the focus. But then it shifted and I was like, whoa, okay. Now we're getting somewhere finally. So Goku finally unlocked this Ultra Instinct thing. And this is the thing that Whis has been pushing Vegeta and Goku to be like. Like ever since they started training on Beerus' planet when Whis is training them. Like I said, Whis used to have his hands behind his back and he would just be dodging and he would just use his instinct to like, you know, evade their attacks. That's basically, I'm assuming, what he wanted Vegeta and Goku to do eventually, like get so powerful and unlock their potential in order to do that. And now Goku finally has done it, but since it's only temporary, I feel like since they said that he broke through his ceiling and now he has no limits, he got up to that point, but then came back down because again, he's not used to it. It's the first time he's ever done this. But I feel like since he knows he can do that, he's gonna push himself even higher and then and that's when we get the real showdown between Jiren and Goku. Just a theory, not 100% sure on if that's gonna be right, but I'm scared now because uh, Hit is going toe to toe with Jiren and if Goku can't even defeat Jiren at that level, I am so sorry, but Hit's gonna get eliminated, man. I hope Hit backs up and just like says, never mind and fucks off over like to another rock or something and doesn't fight Jiren because if he goes toe to toe with Jiren, he will be eliminated. I feel like Hit will put up one hell of a fight, but he's not gonna be able to defeat Jiren. I am so sorry and I'm scared for next episode now because in next episode, if we pick up where we left off in this episode and we don't focus on anybody else, we focus on Jiren and Hit, I'm so scared because it's it's inevitable. I know it's gonna happen, Hit's gonna get eliminated and I don't wanna see it, oh my God. I'm scared for next episode, but Let's see how it happens, and let's see what happens with Goku after achieving this new power. If you guys are enjoying my Dragon Ball Super series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future reactions. And again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.